right. So we've got 10 minutes till singles. And we've. Ah! Bracket has not been updated, but this is grand finals. Definitely not. It is not? What? What am I looking at? Oh no! I Wait, where were you guys? I thought I saw 999 and. I thought I saw 999 and. And. Okay, never mind. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, this is loser semis. What am I looking at? Okay. So I thought 999 and Ender were sitting down. My bad. Alright. Well, Smoops and Skink opting for the Greninja Rob combo once again. Whereas we see the double Ness here from Geo and Matt, who earlier were going double hero. I guess they uh, might have changed their minds. Geo and Ness main, a lot of experience with this character. So we're going to see how that pans out. It's already, though, early lead for green team here. Oh, wow. That down smash is going to take Smoops off the side, and that's a first stock for the blue team. But as I say that, blue team losing a stock on Geo. Oh, Matt, narrowly avoiding that up air. And though they did get that first stock, blue team still down in percent. Geo not quite able to capitalize off that hit. Swoops and Skink going up. Not quite going to get Geo there. But some good damage. Geo already hit 63%. Swiss and Skink having these team combos primed and ready whenever they get a single hit in. The one issue is that well, you can't combo other people, you can accidentally hit your own teammates as we see some good damage racked up on the Skink here accidentally. Stage control for Geo and Matt. Are they going to be able to capitalize on this? No. Skink and Smooth make it back. A stock taken. From Skink, turning things around. Every time they try to get a foothold, Matt and Gio just get taken back off with that good, good forward throw into the forward air. You know, take the stock from Smoops. Not letting this bleeding get too far out of control. It's still going to be quite a bit of effort in order to bring this back. It's PK Fires, though, going to do a good job, but a good up smash from Skink there. My goodness. Good awareness on the grab from Smoops. And already four stocks to three. Well, there is a decent amount of percent here on Skink. And he does lose the stock there. This wall of PK fires from Geo and Matt did do some good work, but a lot of percent racked up on that edge scenario. And Matt gets caught by the side B. Geo going off of the down air. Smoops goes for one of his own. Doesn't end up dying for it. Two small 1v1s for him. We've got Matt goes to rejoin his teammate. So many return hits. Smoops trying to protect Skink from any further damage. Smoops being the stock tank here. He's taking the brunt of all this damage. And Skink still has a stock in the back. He can restock Smoops if he wants to. Hitting his own teammate though. Not going to get a kill, but still not what you want to see. A down smash from Smoops, not quite going to kill Geo. That back throw, not quite going to kill Smoops. So narrowly avoided deaths here. Good gyro control from Smoops here. Back there, and that's going to do it across the stage. Skink, not quite dead. That had been the kill. This could have been disaster, but... That means that it's one stock for Matt here. Versus a 12% Smoops. And Skink sitting in the back there, ready and waiting. <laughs> Smoops hitting Skink away, saying this is my ledge trap. Matt, though, making it back onto stage. And Skink just backing up, letting Smoops ledge trap where he needs to, holding the F-Smash. Forward a good tech from Matt. Down throw, up air. Not going to kill. Good DI from Matt. Oh, but the down air, that's going to two frame, and that's going to be game one. Of losers semis. Game one of losers semis of doubles. I don't know what I was looking at. <laughs> losers semifinals. 
No, then losers finals, then grants. Yep. No character switches here. Joe and Matt opting for the same characters. The game was still close last time, but Smooth and Skink did manage to get the better of a lot of the engagements. We're going to see any changes in gameplay here from Matt and Geo that are going to allow them to get a little further in this game than they did last time. Already we see these low percent combos from Ness. A lot of damage racked up on Smooth. Is that down or going to kill Matt? It is! Early, early death. Not what you want to see in the game two here. The down throw on the gyro into the side B. Not quite going to be enough. And another spike. Is that going to be the kill? It's not. Still, these spikes from Smoops here. That Rob Downer just putting in so much work. Up to upper. Not quite going to be a kill, but Smoops. So much extra damage on this Rob and taking the early stocks as well. Really proving to be a Spot of trouble for Matt and Geo. As we say that, almost getting a down throw into the up smash. Team combo not quite on point, but had a good idea. The double yo-yo, though. Skink not going to be able to roll out of that. Oh, the forward are going to hit his own teammate, but still, Skink not going to die from that forward. Not enough knockback to kill it. The back throw. Lots of knockback on that move. That is going to kill. Smoops has Geo at ledge here. Wants to just stay safe here. Skink tries to get him out of there, but the up smash is going to kill him. Skink not able to save his teammate from that ledge trap by Geo. Oh, falling out of the side B is Matt. Smoops and Skink just trying to rest control this stage, and they do. They get the ledge. Are they going to... Push this. Matt does lose his life to an F up smash there. This is Geo off the stage against the Rob of Smoops. Oh, but dying to his own teammates. Up smash. Geo catching Geo's two frame. Good rising there from Smoops. Good awareness from the knockback of Skink's moves. Good drop zone backer though. Matt going to take that stock. This is green team up three stocks to one. Can Geo make this back? Or are we going to be pushed to a game three with blue team down two to one? The team hacking from Smoops into the downer. Smoops, these downers from Rob putting in so much work. Geo and Matt thinking long and hard about what they want to do. This is their tournament life here. scuffle here. Skink going to the other side. Smoops left alone on the left-hand side. Matt and Gio both able to gang up on him, but not enough percent to really make it worthwhile. Smoops was trapped at the ledge here, but managed to reset it on Matt. Skink just doing his best to dash in and out. Smoops takes the brunt with the opposing team has to offer, and Smoops up air, off of Skink's up air. Vanessa's do have stage control right now. Skink going to help, make sure Smoops can recover, and he does, but the up smash is going to get hit by it. Still not going to be a kill, though. Rob, a bit too heavy for that. Down air, down smash, not catching the ledge. The F smash, though, going to kill Geo there. Smoops is on the ledge. Geo's trying to catch him, get a revenge kill. Not quite going to be enough. And there, still not going to kill. Smoops is still alive. Meanwhile, this whole time, Skink is just tacking on little bits of percent here and there, setting up for Smoops to get these big hits that he needs. It's 
still landing there, not able to get much off of it. Skink trying to find a way to alleviate the pressure on Smoops here. He does. Dash attack into Smoops' is up there. Oh no, an F tilt into the PK fire. F smashing his own teammate, and a back hair. Not quite gonna kill though. This Rob living a little longer. And the Nessus can afford, and that almost gonna kill. Matt losing his stock there to a very, very high near. Goes up to Chase and Smoop just hitting him for it. And these Nessus with stage control, but again, oh, Skink manages to kill his own teammate. But Skink, this whole time, trying to just play this enabler role, he wants to allow Smoops to just get control and push the advantage like he knows Rob can. Just dancing in and out. Smoops and Skink both off the ledge, though. No hope for Skink to try and save Smoops this time. Manages to land, but Skink loses his life in doing so. They need to get a stock here. But that down air going to take Smoops to stock, and suddenly down 2-1. to one. Gio and Matt rallying after both games. Up smash, going to take the stock. One stock advantage for the blue team here. The green team, we've seen them create leads bigger than this. They can bring it back, too. But will they be able to? Matt at a high percent. They can't take any more percent than they need to, but a good F-Smash covering the roll. Suddenly this is looking more and more possible for the green team. The blue team can't let this get any further away from them. Smoops keeping Geo at ledge while Skink just protects his back. Skink just allowing Smoops to stay alone with Geo, knowing that Rob's ledge trapping. to be able to control a lot of what Ness wants to do here. Oh, but that Nair not quite going to cover the roll. Suddenly Smoops is off stage. And he managed to make it back with an up air. Careful play here. Skink just trying to allow Smoops to get back to stage. Matt defending Geo. Matt gets a down smash, and that's going to be Smoops' stock. Skink in a 2v1 against Matt and Geo here. Can he do it? Gets an S smash, but that's not going to kill center stage. We'll need a bit more than that. Skink playing it super carefully here, but up he's straight into that up smash. Loser's, loser's semi-stick. Are we going to see any character switches here? All right, running it back. You and Matt need to win the next two. Otherwise, they're out of this tournament. Can they cement themselves a spot in Wizards Finals? Or are they going to drop here to Snoops and Skink? Game four. Oh, the double PK fire. Setting up a wall on the side of the stage. Skink getting under them, though. Landing a double up smash. Smoops comboing his teammate a little much there. 74% already racked up on the Skink. The one who typically has had the most stocks at the end of the match. Oh, the down tilt to the side B. And Smoops taking that stock from Matt early. Matt and Geo trying to rest stage control here. They need to get a little more damage, though, if they want to get any of these kills. Skink going to be playing really slippery. 101%. Needs to be careful. Smoops and Skink separated, but Skink lost to the same side as Smoops. Smoops trying to cover his back so he can get back to stage. Smoops just playing in front. Skink behind him. We just keep seeing this play. Runoff. Side B is going to get the stock with that back air. Going to kill Skank and that drop down forward air. Not quite going to do it. Smoops still alive with the back air. That's going to be the stock. Skank going for the counter there, but not going to get a kill off of it. That down there not spiking, but up being his own teammate. Up throw, and that's going to be the stock. Up one stock is green team. Oh, no. 
Kio a good smart down air, forcing Smoops to use all of that effort on a recovery rather than trying to keep pushing that advantage on Matt. <laughs> Hectic mech, massive spikes and other rich moves. As we reset here and try to see if either team can take this match. Down tilt to up smash though, missing the tech on the platform. Mac loots his stock. Matt and Geo staring down the barrel, losing their tournament life here, and a double up smash from Smoops. <laughs> oh no, the drag down up there, and that up air hitting both of them, but no kills yet. In fact, a return kill there from Matt. The up smash not quite going to kill, but almost. <laughs> Kink trying to leverage this pressure here, but he gets knocked off off the stage. 95%. Matt and Geo slowly bringing this back. Oh, but they, Matt uppers his own teammate and then jumps into the up smash. That's Geo. They win game three, but not enough to extend it into a win for the set.